A little while back, we bought this 200 acres and our plan is to turn it into the ultimate hunting land. We have 20 acres of field and the surrounding 180 is nothing but trees. And when we first got it, those trees were super thick, growed up and had no trails in them at all. With the field, it had been cut for hay every year, but never really planted in anything special for the wildlife. So when we got the place back in the fall, we started off by cutting trails into the mountains, planting some food plots here and there, and just putting out trail cameras to try to get a tip up on what kind of animals actually live here. And since then, I really haven't talked to y'all much about the land but in this video we're doing an update video and not too long ago we had a new visitor on the farm that we had never seen before so let's get right on in to the hunting land update and let's start off with all the wheat that i planted last fall hoping that it would come up for deer well it never really came up in the fall but this spring it's came up pretty good and it's almost like i don't know four some even five feet tall it's actually really tall kind of crazy so all the wheat we planted everywhere is coming up really good the downsides that it's pretty much going to die in a month or two and then we have to figure something else out as for the big hay field it's coming up pretty good too and i don't really have cows my uncle has cows but he don't really need the hay so i think i'm actually going to leave this hay tall and just see how the wildlife react with it and since it's summer that means that springs already went by so how exactly did turkey season go up here well me and abram hunted up here quite a bit and we heard an absolute ton of gobbles which was really good like we heard up to like six gobblers in one morning which is really promising but then the next time we came up here we didn't hear anything so you know take that with what you will but then finally abram was actually able to kill a turkey up here which isn't bad because that's our first big game kill up here on the farm throughout spring and winter here's a few of the cool animals we got on trail camera we did actually get this pretty big buck right here which honestly is a pretty big buck and I mean, as far as I know, he's still alive, but I don't really have much information to back that up yet. But we did get quite a bit of coyotes. We got a lot of videos of bobcats. Ton of raccoons and absolute unbelievable amount of stray dogs, which I don't know why, but we have 10 times more stray dogs than we do coyotes. But of course, we do have a lot of coyotes too. And a lot of turkeys. We got a lot of everything, which is good. But a couple weeks ago, I got a special order of a special something that me and Abram had to go pick up. All right, guys, we're going to pick up 1,800 pounds of deer feed. Yep. And nobody knows why. I don't know why. I, I don't either. You're the one that bought it. Or did I? I don't know. <laughs> did you? Was it an early birthday present? Uh, I don't know about birthday, but it was a gift, which is kind of a cool gift. Really? So yeah. just got you 1800 Do we know who it is? I know who it is. Are you going to tell us? I'll tell y'all later who it is. I don't even know what 1800 pounds of deer feed looks like. But we're going to pick it up, and they said it's on a pallet, so bring something big. So we, we, we did. We just brought the truck. I don't think we're going to be able to get this though. Why? I don't think your truck's big enough. We should have brought a trailer. Probably. All right, here we go. If y'all ever wondering what 1,800 pounds of deer feed comes in, it comes in a truck. All right, let's go see what 1,800 pounds of deer feed looks like. I have actually have no idea. Oh, crap. You know what? Heavy? Not too bad. Okay. Well, I think the wheel might be stuck. There we go. I'm going to be completely honest, guys. This is a lot harder than I thought, but we still got another pallet. I don't know if this is going to work. You still don't think it's going to work? I think your truck bed is too short. Nah, it'll be out. If you ain't breaking, you ain't trying. Yeah, we can fit another pallet on here. We got straps for. It'll hang off a little bit, but we can take the strap and wrap it around and pull it up, and it should hold it pretty yep. good. Am I touching there? The pallet's not. I think the thing got. I hung again. Okay. Yeah, I hung again. There we go. I'm gonna have to pull up. Okay. Very slow. <laughs> should I want to strap it first? You think? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Oh, hold up, hold up. Back up. We're going to strap it a different way. 
Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. <coughs> hope, it, hope it's pretty good. Yeah. All right, I'll try that. Yeah, go super slow. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. I was going to let that down, but uh, oh. but I was like, no, nope, you got it now. Well, good deal. Hey, appreciate thank you. you. Appreciate you, buddy. I would call that a success. Yeah, let's make it home first. Then we can get our cake and ice cream. We're not getting cake yet. We're going to KFC. I'll take a number one leg and thigh with fries. All right, so where exactly did 1,800 pounds of feed come from if I didn't buy it? And I definitely did. Well, if you look right here, it says Big and J. So that's who gave it to us. Basically, they wanted to know if I would like to use their stuff this year. And I was like, sure, maybe. Send me a little bit and I will try it out and see if I actually like it and see if it actually works. So they sent me a little bit more than a little bit. And so now we're going to be testing it out and see if it works. That's about it. But I think the first step, first step though, it's about to rain. So we need to get this off the pallet and back under the shed somewhere. So I'm gonna go grab the bobcat and then we're gonna get it off. And then we'll probably go out and we'll set it out somewhere and just start watching it over the next few months and see if the deer actually like it and how much they do like it. I don't really know exactly what I have. Here's a box that looks kind of special. So we'll set that off to the side. Looks like we definitely have apple. This is like BB2. Basically from what I do know about this stuff is that it is deer feed, but it's more than just corn. Like it actually has a high protein. It's actually, it's good for their health. And it also has minerals and stuff too. And it attracts them pretty good. So yeah, corn can feed deer. For what I'm thinking, this is actually healthier for them. And Maybe they even like it better too. Then here's another one. This one looks like some kind of like a bone collector mix or something. Then in these buckets here, I think this is like powder. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have a ton of experience with this stuff, but that's what I'm supposed to be doing with this. Yeah, well, I don't really know. Maybe that might be mineral stuff. But yeah, I think next step, it's actually about to rain right now, so not today. But uh, if we go out and set some of this out, and put a camera on it, we'll just see how it does. I don't know what we'll start with though. Maybe a little bit of everything and just get it out there and see what they, I don't know, see if they like it. Me and May's just out moving a trail camera. Look what we found though. This is really cool. They're running from us as expected, but check it out. Where did they go? We found some turkeys. Oh no, that's not good, man. We don't want them to run away too far. The cool thing is that May, being an elite squirrel dog, does not actually chase turkeys because she knows a turkey is not a squirrel. So we can safely walk past the turkeys and May's not gonna go eat them, which is awesome. So the next day after I got all that deer feed, I came out on the farm and set it out in a few different spots. One of which proved to be pretty dang productive. And here are a few of the videos we actually got from it.
Yes, that is uh, correct. We got black bears, and not just one of them, but in that one video, we even got three. Now, that's pretty awesome because the first time we got on the farm, we really looked around way back in the first farm update. We found this right here, which was a footprint of a big black bear, but we never really seen the black bear ever. And that had been like, what, 250 days ago, so almost a year, give or take. And then within two days of setting out this deer feed stuff, we get those bears on camera and a ton of pictures of them. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So today I brought more out to set it out. And here's what I'm also gonna do. I brought out another KG trail camera. And I'm thinking with this one, we do something really cool. Since we know the bears are congregating right here over the food as we'd expect, I'm thinking I set this camera up really close to where we get almost like a right up in their face. Now there might be a good chance they destroy the camera. They do that sometimes, but I think it's worth it. That big and J son, pretty cool dude. It worked like a charm, I know that. I like it. Sweet. I hope that'll work. We'll just have to wait a few days and see. The bears have been coming by pretty regularly. Every other day at the minimum. A lot of times every day, so. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. So after seeing that the black bear's coming back pretty regularly, he's coming here like at least once a day, I decided to be pretty cool if we take this KG trail camera and put it right up really close to where we maybe get an up close shot. So I stood up a rock, set it up and everything, and here's how it went. So yeah, long story short, it was an amazing idea, but execution just wasn't there. The bear literally came over to this rock and said, huh, rock. We're going to get something a little more sturdy because I feel like if we can, if that works out the way I want it to, and as long as we can keep him from tipping over the camera, I think we're going to get some pretty cool shots. So I went and I got this thing right here. It's a block of wood. Hopefully he won't tip this over as fast. We can only hope, you know? So check it, we're gonna just move these rocks out of the way. I don't know, maybe the rocks were like really exciting to him or something. And then I think we set it just like that, put the camera right here, and hopefully he'll be less likely to tip it over. Now, I don't know, he's a big bear, he's gonna do whatever he wants to, but hopefully we can get a few really up close shots of him before he tips it over. I'm gonna set this up and then we're gonna leave. And hopefully, we get pictures of exactly what we're hoping. The one awesome thing about these KG trail cameras is that their field of view is very large. So like, even though it's super close to the bear, it's still gonna get a really wide angle so it can see everything that's going on. What are my predictions? Do I think this will work? I think so. He's definitely not afraid of cameras and he definitely really likes this food. So I don't think he's gonna stop coming. There we go. I think that's the move right there. Come in here, turn it on and we're good to go. Close it up, give it time. If everything goes as planned, we should have some really cool up close video of a black bear. I don't know guys. I mean, it looks good. He's been spending so much time right here and then that camera right there. I think this should be pretty good. All we can do is hope for the best. I think it'll work. In the meantime, while we're waiting on that bear to come back and get close to the camera, we're having some more work done to the land. And this is something that's not happened in a long time. You can see out there, the excavator's moving. An articulated truck out there is moving. They are back here and they're uh, back finally working again. That is my dad and his team. 
by the way. They just kind of work here whenever they don't have anything else to do, which is fine. But what's happening right now is, as you can see, on the edge of the field right here, we're actually got a new ditch going. And this is because throughout the half year, throughout the year that we've had it, we noticed that whenever it comes a good little rain, this side of the field, especially this lower end, it gets kind of soggy and it gets kind of wet. And that's just where uh, there's no ditch right now. Whenever it gets wet, the water just drains off to the mountain, into the field, and kind of just sits there, kind of like a swamp. Well, we want to fix that. So we're going around the edges, digging a ditch, so that whenever it rains, the water can come off the mountain, hit the ditch, and then go around, and it'll actually flow into the pond at the end. This should keep the field pretty dry, because here, and not too long at all, I'm actually taking this end of the field. I'm going to mow it down, replant something, hopefully do a little food plot, which should help us a lot whenever it comes deer season. Give a bunch of the animals some good food to eat. But right now, that's basically what they're doing, is just going around, digging the ditch here and there, and then they're taking the dirt from the ditch they're making, and they're actually going and putting it over there near the pond, because we're gonna be using that to help build up the pond and make it even better. Shoveling dirt. Do you know what you're doing? Does it look like I know what I'm doing? I don't know. Alright. 
don't, I don't know what you're doing. So. <laughs> Comment below, does it look like I know what I'm doing? We're going back right back this way. <laughs> I don't know exactly where he was. He said that in, but he never did come get his rock out there. Uh -huh. Right, guys it is the next day most if not all of the powder food stuff is gone taking an up close look at it you can definitely see there's some things scratched around i don't see any definite bear prints or anything maybe y'all do but a lot of it's gone now let's just hop on this trail camera and see exactly what we got oh yeah it's got mud on it so i'm about positive we've had a bear right up on top of this this is gonna be pretty epic let's check the camera All right, guys, that footage was pretty epic. It worked exactly like I was wanted to. Set a camera right up on top of the bear and hopefully get some up-close shots. And let me tell you, that's I think, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what we did. Now, here's my plan, and I think it's a pretty awesome plan. Since we have this bear showing up to this food, like, pretty much multiple times a week and very consistent, I think it would be awesome if in next episode, I go to Walmart, buy some full-size mirrors as tall as I am, and set it out there and just see what in the world the bear does when it sees itself, probably for the first time. Unless it's just like snooping through people's houses and has seen itself in a mirror before. Long story short, subscribe if you wanna see that video because it is coming up next in the Land Series. In case you missed the first episode of the Land Series, click right here to get a good intro of it, or right over here for an update on the pond we're building right over there.